Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Matthew chapter 12, verse 6, as well as Obadiah chapter 1, verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for strength from day to day. We give you praise and honor. We know that there is no God beside you, Lord. Only you are worthy to be praised, Jesus. Bless this word. Help it to open up and blossom in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Matthew chapter 12, verse 6. But I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. And this is Jesus speaking. And he is actually speaking um, about the fact that he's here, right? Um you know, so many things went on in the temple and they really loved this temple that was built, um, this new temple. And, you know, they, they, they were in awe of it. Right. And so, you know, Jesus realized that you were only going to have him for so long. Right. And something greater than that temple was in their presence. Right. And, and many of them were missing it. Right. And it says, I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. All right. And this is conflated today with Obadiah chapter one, verse 12. But I do not gloat over the day of your brother in the day of his misfortune. Do not rejoice over the people of Judah in the day of their ruin. Do not boast in the day of distress. And this is just, you know, talking about the the woes and the misfortune and the wrath and the the oppression that came on the Israelites and will come right it says don't gloat over the day of your brother in the day of his misfortune we know that the Israelites you know did not um receive Christ when he came but that doesn't mean that doesn't give us an excuse to treat them any way except pray for them and see them as the children of God that they are right we should be praying for them and hoping for them and standing in faith for them as brothers and sisters right it says do not gloat over the day of your brother in the day of his misfortune do not rejoice over the people of Judah that is in the day of their ruin that is not for, that's not a time of rejoicing, right? That's a time for prayer for them and hoping for them and having faith for them and standing for them, right? We should be praying for their conversion. We should be reaching out to them to, to have, to pray for their conversion. And so it says, and, it, and do not boast in the day of distress, right? Yes, they're going to face distress, until they you know go as they go through the tribulation and as they the ones who have not received Christ you know that's going to be a great time of distress for many people and and if you don't receive Christ into your life you know it's going to be even more distress so if anything our position is to pray for them hope for them stand in faith for them amen and that's the conflation is is that you know it says but i tell you that something greater than the temple is here jesus is here for everyone he's here for the jew he's here for the gentile and you know some people are not receiving him the israelites many of them are not you know following after the messiah that is they're all together in that you know many of them are together except for the messianic jews um that you know that the messiah hasn't come in their mind for many of them and they are still waiting but we need to be praying that god opens their eyes and takes the blinds off of their eyes so that they might see and repent and turn to him and and come away from the error of their sins and not following each other amen their loyalty should be with the lord and not with man all right you guys let's pray thank you father god for this word thank you for truth it is beautiful it is a treasure we love you we praise you and we ask you to just bless us as we continue in your word in jesus name we pray amen all right you guys may the lord bless you and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace take care